weather is not cooperating. So to do this video, I've taken my stooge apart and I have it C-clamped to my table. I need this to be nice and secure so we can do some stretch winding. Taking a look in the book, here is the winding sequence. This is just the sequence of getting everything in and wound, then we have to reverse it. Then we gotta get the blast tube in the plane, stretch wind it, and reverse this process to get the blast tube out. Take note of the crocket hook. It has two holes in it for transferring back and forth between the winder and the control wire and the extension wire to get the blast tube out. So first thing to do is load the motors on the stick. This has a U-shaped end here. It has the fork on this end. Here is the end with the fork configuration. Those pins just keep these rubber motors from being a tangled mess in the plastic bag. Got a, one of the bays cut out so you can see what's going on here. So I'm going to insert this motor into the plane push the peg on, remove the stick, and we'll have the rubber motor hanging out of the nose of the model. I have marks for how far to insert this stick for the various airplanes. Right there is for beautiful Bess. I have this pushing stick rotated right now so you can see the fork and the loop of rubber going around it. Just got to kind of work it on. It's a snug fit on the tube. So there's the tube centered in the fuselage and I have the rubber motor centered on the peg. Now we can put the plane in the stooge. So there is beautiful Bess securely mounted in the stooge and pull the pushing stick out next. This is why we need this stooge securely mounted. I am pulling against the stooge right now, releasing the motor. Removing the pushing stick. So a little bit to just getting the rubber motor in the airplane. These are crocket hooks. They have several different hooks for the different planes. The whole idea of them are two holes for transferring the rubber motor. The other um, important part of these is the rubber motor doesn't climb off the hook and come loose. So this is one we're going to use for beautiful bass. At this point, the two motor halves are all mixed up. I'm not concerned which is which, other than I want four loops on either half of this crocket hook. Again, I'm pulling against the stooge, stretch this out a little bit. Half on that side of the hook, half on the other, but there is your rubber motor in the airplane with the crocket hook on. Okay, moving right along here. Nothing you want to do in a hurry. 
don't want to wreck anything on the model, but time for the blow tube or blast tube and wire hook. Big part of this whole operation is controlling the rubber motor and protecting the model. Get something, a rubber motor of this size in the airplane, safely wound and fly the airplane without any damage. So that followed right down, feeling the notches. And that is snapped on the rear peg. So right here is a short piece of wire. When I get this motor wound, I'm going to slide this through the other hole in the crocket hook. So this is going to be wound up with a lot of tension. I'm not going to do it tonight, but if I was torque winding, I would put all this in line and stretch wind with the meter. There's the face of the meter. So here is how you wind it. Here comes the knots. See the row, first row of knots coming out? So I'm going to start walking it in. Looks like 20 inch ounces of torque on it already. So I'm going to keep winding, working my way in. I'll start with a double row of knots. Have to keep it stretched enough and just keep winding. So it won't bind up in the S tube. Woohoo! Double row of knots going in, baby. And I should have not done this without lube. Okay. Now I need my control wire. Now I have control over the motor. Hang my winder, hang my torque meter. So here's the thing about rubber motors. Um, from what I have heard and I've experienced the same thing, never had a rubber motor blow as it's unwinding. So at this point, it's fairly safe. So I need to control this to do the switch from the winder to this transfer wire. And now, it's exciting, I'm removing the blast tube. Now we need to control the wound up motor again. With a row of double knots. Pretty exciting stuff, I ain't gonna lie to you. And now we can put the prop on. Come on, baby. Come on camera. Mm -mm -mm. There we are. Okay. Now I am controlling the motor with the um, nose block. And I got my black dot on top. Put that in there. And we have a wound model airplane. I'm going to take this out of the stand and all the torque. It's now on fuselage. Okay, this is exciting stuff. I have the whimsical man, pilot figure back in the plane. We get to watch the scarf blowing in the prop wash. We'll watch this rubber powered model airplane 
and this um, hand carved balsa wood folding prop in action. So here we go. Both these unfolded, release, pull, it's got some power. Here's the knots coming undone. You hear that start clacking. Get the screw, holds up. Success. That's crazy. So one thing um, I didn't mention before with the folding prop tension of the motor coming back against a stop screw, you can run a motor that's longer than the airplane because I don't know if you can see it, but the motor doesn't completely unwind. So you don't get any knots balled up in the back to where it would throw off your CG. But there it is a really large rubber powered model airplane demonstrated for you how to uh, load the motor stretch line safely with a blast tube and then launch the airplane it's a uh, crazy stuff actually here's a look at what you couldn't see with the lighting from the camera position you can see the motor has not fully unwound inside the fuselage I need to transfer the motor off of the nose block And we can still damage the airplane if I let go of this motor right now. We have a mess getting out of there. So I'm going to use the winder to unwind the last of that. Again, it's all about controlling this rubber motor. It's no joke. Stretch it back out a little bit. You can feel the knot unwinding. At this point, it's pretty safe. So no tension, no big danger here. Simply pull the peg. That's what I was struggling with before. It uh, helps when it when I twist it. We can just pull it all the way out now. Take this hank of motor. <laughs> 